Hello, welcome to Arab Business, brought to you by Levant TV. Iran's economy and finance minister Ali Taibniya says that the volume of trade exchange between Iran and Iraq will rise from 12 to 20 billion US dollars. Taibniya said in a press statement that due to Iraq's area and the number of its population as well as long joint borders with Iran and oil revenues enjoys a suitable possibilities for enhancing trade relations with the country. The Al Habtur group said it is considering large-scale investments in Egypt, including a plan to construct an Al Habtur city at a prime location in the capital. Khalaf Ahmed Al Habtur, the chairman of the group, said in a statement that he is also embarking on a new area of business to produce Hollywood films. The group said Al Habtur will soon be heading to Egypt to study potential business opportunities in the country. And again, Middle East Airlines chairman Mohammed Al Hout has announced that the company has reduced its fuel surcharge to reflect the recent drop in oil prices. Maya had imposed a surcharge of about 15% of the price of a ticket after oil prices began to spike over the past few years. The surcharge has now been reduced to about 7.5% of a ticket's price. Hout also revealed that the revenue from the surcharge is close to $100, $100 million a year. And uh, Maya's rival Emirates Airline has pointed to the 2015 Brand Finance Global 500 report release this week that lists uh, the UAE carrier among the world's top 200 brands. Emirates Airline estimated brand value has grown more than 21% from 5.48 billion US dollars to 6.6 .6 billion. Emirates edged into the top 200, ranking 196 out of 500 companies after climbing 38 spots since last year's report. And before we leave you, let's have a glance at the stock markets. Saudi Arabia struggled to hold on to early gains, while Egypt rebounded after a profit-taking bout. The main Saudi stock benchmark edged down 0.3% after rising as much as 05 earlier in the session. Egypt's bourse rose 1.1% in a broad rally after undergoing a profit-taking bout this week. In other markets, Qatar was nearly flat, Abu Dhabi's index rose 0.2%, while Dubai edged down 0.3%, Kuwait 0.4% and Oman 0.04%. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching and bye for now.